Hi, I'm Keisha Clark with Simply Charming Party, and I'm going to show you today how to put together these adorable baby Q rosette cupcake toppers. As you can see, it's got a rosette all around the sides and a cute picture of a pregnant woman. There's also two other images that go on there, uh, but I'm going to show you real quick how to put this together. Okay, so it's going to come. You're going to have enough of these to put together 24. You're going to have one little picture for each cupcake topper. Um, they come in various designs. One is a silhouette, another is a barbecue grill, and the last one says baby Q. You're going to have a stick. You're going to have a little red circle. Actually, you're going to have two of these red circles. I'm sorry about that to hold it all together and then you're gonna have um, the rosette paper now if you look real closely you're you're gonna get in your kit something that looks like a strip um, but if you look real closely I don't know that you can see it with the camera there are actually bends in the paper to show you exactly where to fold this because this is going to have to be fan folded in order to make the rosette that's here so to get started what I like to do first is to um, go ahead and fan fold my um, my strip that's already perforated so you just want to start with one end and to fan fold something you simply you know you turn it this way and then you then you turn it back this way you don't actually have to turn it but what you're doing is you're folding one side then the other back and forth until you get the entire thing folded and as you can see I'm doing that now I'm just going back and forth with it it'll probably take you about 30 seconds to do each one of these um, once you get into a rhythm it's easy and because there are indentations in the paper it's going to show you how to consistently make this folded all the way down okay so once that's all the way folded it's going to kind of make a spiral looking thing that looks like this um, and from this you can kind of see this is going to come together and we're going to make our rosette shape so put Put the circle together you want to take your perforated piece and it's easiest to do this from when the piece is already still folded, folded together so I'm gonna go ahead and re fan fold this piece um, that we took apart just to show you what it looks like okay once it's fan folded you simply want to take your your perforated mark and you want to just sort of move it around holding it down so you can see yourself making a rosette shape as you can see here mine is starting to take shape it's got this cute little rounded shape over here if you find that your your some of your folds are coming apart you can just go ahead and refold it and then once you bring these two sides together <coughs> you have the beginning of your rosette shape now you can decide how tightly close together you want it or how far out you want it depending on <laughs> on your edges and what I do to sort of get this circle started is I just take a little bit of the hot glue and running up run it along one side <coughs> excuse me and then I'm just gonna bring both of these together just like this okay so now you have a bit of glue in the center that I'm holding it and you are gonna have to hold this for a minute and allow it to dry and so once you get it to dry some you can see it's um it's holding together but it'll puff up until you put something to reinforce the front and back of it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add on one of my um, little pieces my little red pieces I'm gonna put a generous amount of glue on the back of this little piece and then I'm just gonna stick it on, I'm gonna eye it, and I'm gonna get it in the center as best as I can. And this is just gonna help you hold your rosette together even further than that little slip that you already put it on. And I'm gonna give it a few seconds and I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, and now once I know that it's dry, I can flip it over and I'm gonna cover up this little ugly piece in the back. You know, it's just where you can see the glue gathered from before. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put my stick in there. So. I'm going to find that little area where our two kind of met, came together. I'm going to stick my stick right in one of the little grooves here, as you can see it. I'm going to reinforce that with some glue right here, a little bit of glob. And I'm also going to stick the last, my little backing piece on the back of this. And that's just covering any, you know, ugly stick pieces, any extra glue that may be back there from putting on the front. You're just using that red to make things pretty on both sides. So now we have our rosette and it's very cute and it's almost done, except we haven't put our little picture on it. So I'm gonna take my little picture and you can use um, a regular glue for this part if you want to because it's just paper on paper, but I just think it's easier to go ahead and use the same adhesive. So I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna put our girl on the front. in the center and there you have it it's your ro rosette cupcake topper it's so cute and it's all done thanks so much